time itself is a silent song. We should prepare while we can, then make a preemptive strike against the enemy. Every course of action has its risks. Be careful. Time itself is a silent song.
Add Astro. Thank you for comp. Add Astro. Allow me! Huh? Huh? Waste to the wicked! Torn to oblivion! Shine down! Here we go! Think you can get away? Hold the line! Please! Purge!
Take them. I have no need.
The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever.
The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever. Seriously? But, Mr. Morris, I don't understand, sir. How can you... Uh, I'm afraid that there's nothing really I can do. But what about my film? Well, I'm afraid you have to come up with something on your own. Take it from me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Same go... Oh! Oh! Hey, isn't it Xavier? Oh, why, if it isn't the dear Traveler and Paimon, I really did... Well, I was doing just fine until I received some terrible news just now. The investor I was working with for my upcoming... Can't you just find a different investor? Unfortunately, that's not how it works. We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia Film Festival, stipulating that I cannot work with any other investors until the festival is... The Fontanalia Film Festival? Oh, is this your first time participating in Fontaine's Font... The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights, who went on a quest to search for the Oceanids, and eventually welcomed the Hydro Arconigeria. Uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine, as well as its unique laws and trials. It's one of the most important festivals for this nation. on your face. It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. Ah, oh, I was just trying to recall the exact description from the books. <laughs> In order to avoid any, uh, unnecessary arguments over some... Well, either way, Paimon thinks she gets it now. It's just like the wind bloom... 
Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good festival? And just like those of other to commemorate the Loch Knights, people will imitate them by putting on special costumes, raising golden cups, and going door to door asking for pure water. But a few years ago, Lady Farina started to find the whole idea a little drab, and so decided to change... That really doesn't... The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now, and it's quite popular among the kids. Every year, you can hear a bunch of them saying, Try... Oh, that sounds pretty fun. But... Ah, yes, uh, it appears I've strayed off topic. <laughs> I just... The Fontanalia Film Festival is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Now that film technology has... During this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, and the entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the Association. The what award? The Farina Award! You know, after the Hydro Archon, they coined it while Lady Farina was still in power, but uh, even though things have changed, no one has made any motion to update the name. Perhaps everyone still thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name. Even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer, Lady Farina is still Fontaine's superstar. Anyone with eyes can see the way she shines. Yeah. All right. Guess the name. D oh, but who would have guessed there'd be an issue with the funding? How will I ever explain this to Miss Chiori? Not to say all the other actors who traveled all the way here from Inazuma. Chiori? Uh, sounds familiar. Where have we heard that name before? Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art director. Oh! said that her clothes were designed by Chiori, and Kirara's outfit, too! How to describe her? Uh, well, she tends to be pretty direct, and can be very forceful when it comes to deal- Her remarkable designs have led many Fontanians to become very interested in Ina- Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Without her help, I don't think I would have been able to get such an inter- Who are the actors from Inazuma? Do we know them? Why don't the two of you accompany me to the Aquabus station to welcome them? Judging from the time, the Aquabus should be arriving shortly. Chiori. Uh, Miss Chiori? <sighs> Your talk with the investor sure went fast. The Aquabus hasn't even arrived yet.
Oh. And who are they? Ah, uh, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Pleased to meet you. Likewise! We've heard the owner of Chioriya Boutique is a skilled seamstress, so it's a real pleasure to finally meet you in person. Why, thank you. I strove to create an outfit that matched her. So tell me, what happened? Ah, well, it's like this. I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to say it. You did remind me that this investor was a little bit sketchy. Yes, there's no doubt about that. But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me t And therein lies the problem. Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining such an excellent script, it's only natural that I would want to make the most of the film.
The budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to front such a large amount of money. Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help scrounge up some more together for you. Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. I'm afraid that any Mora we can scrounge together in a short amount of time won't even be able to cover the act. We need to move on. What's happened has already happened, and there's no changing it. But now's not the time to give up. What? You're saying that you have- No, that's not what I mean. I'm- The actors I recommended aren't just after more after- Really? Then where do you live? We Malazines live in Mary Sea Village. The only way to enter is from underwater. Oh, you must be pretty tired after work every day, right? I mean, you have to swim all that way just to go home. We are so thoughtful. But some Malazines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. And this is our stop. Oh, we've arrived, but I haven't even finished chatting with Abel yet. I also enjoyed Abel's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Everything you described was so clear and detailed. Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on this opera bus, so I hope I'll have the chance to see you again. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> Welcome to the Court of Fontaine. <sighs> Chiori, you sure have changed a lot. This is the first time we've seen you since you left Inazuma. I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such a rush when I left that I didn't even get to say goodbye. Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful trip here in Fontaine. Oh, it's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. So they are who you meant when you said you had actors coming from- Oh? It's the Traveler, and Paimon! Wow, what a coincidence! Ayaka and I were just talking about you- We just ran into Xavier earlier and came over with him. <laughs> but I'm not an actress. Sir Kamisato and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging along with Ayaka to have a good time. Uh, about that. I mean, how was I supposed to contact you when I was making preparations for the film? So I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I sought... I've been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here. But you still managed to surprise me first. Oh, so you all know each other already. <laughs> My, what a coincidence. Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and catch up over a meal? I've already made a reservation. Yes, of course, of course. I'll be sure to tell the boss. Very well. Then please, kindly lead the way, Mr. Zavi. Wow, the buildings in Fontaine are so tall. Just look at how big they are.
And there's the fountain that Aval mentioned earlier. It really is a magnificent sight. And look at that huge spinning sphere! Where does it get its power? <gasps> Wait a sec! Could it be one of those clockwork mecha we've heard so much about? from Montana's like. Oh, it sure is different from what we have in Inazuma. How should I describe it? It seems like you have to go through a lot more uh, steps to make them. And the flavor has many layers too. Ah, uh, yes. When I first went to Inazuma, I actually thought the food there tasted a little too- Let's get back to the purpose of this trip for a moment, shall we? How have preparations for the film been coming along, Mr. Xavier? Well, I've already assembled most of the film crew. A lighting specialist, a prop manager- Oh, it's called The Two Musketeers, right? I read the script you sent me on the way here. Mr. Originally, I was planning to start filming as soon as Sir Kamisato and Lady Aya- Oh? It has to do with the film's investor, Mr. Morris. He suddenly informed me this morning that he's... It's said that Fontaine's legal system is well developed. If he has violated the co- Ah, well, I'm still more concerned about filming. Even if I were to take him to court, I'm afraid it would take months. Then, is there a way we could raise funds ourselves? I've considered that option too, but unfortunately, it's difficult to gather such a large amount of mora on such short notice. Bes hmm. Mr. Xavier, if Ayaka and I were willing to perform for free, would that resolve the problem you are currently facing? What? Uh, no, out of the question! To have you come all this way just- There's no need to worry, Mr. Xavier. My brother and I had actually intended to work for free after receiving your invitation. Inazuma has only recently reopened its borders, and needs to strengthen its relations and cultural ties with other nations. We didn't have many collaboration projects with Fontaine in the past, so we hope this trip would serve as a good start for the future. Indeed. You could say that's the real reason why the Ashiro Commission agreed to come to Fontaine. I understand, but having you- Not at all. While we're officially here to conduct a cultural survey of sorts, we must express our sincerity if we want to establish formal cultural ties with your nation. This film will serve as proof of friendly cooperation and cultural exchange between Inazuma and Fontaine. It's my hope that the film can be finished and released as smoothly as possible. If you still don't feel comfortable with this arrangement, I would also be more than happy to be introduced to some other renowned individuals in Fontaine. Uh, uh, Alright! 
I'll do as you say. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come on now. No need to go that far. I'll also help you out as a brand sponsor. Me too. Even though I didn't bring much more to spend on this trip, it... Uh, you are too kind, all of you. I... I really don't know how to... <laughs> Ugh, ew. All right, enough about that. Now that we have Xavier's savings, my support, and two leads who are willing to act for free, I think we will be able to make this happen. So, instead of Mora, you'll help with filming and production. Oh, but how can we help with that? All right. Pull yourself together, Xavier. Uh, oh, uh, all right. Uh, let me think. We still need a camera operator. I originally wanted to personally serve as director, but I've been too busy working as the producer. I'm at news with the director and the logistics support person do, but... The clapper loader is responsible for using the clapper board to record and organize the information of each shot. When the camera... A uh, clapper board? <gasps> oh, you mean the thing... Yes, that's right. For sure, Pylon's always... All right, then you'll be our clapper loader. I can find someone from the store. Oh, fine by me. As for our... Oh, he's great when it comes to using a camera. Pylon... Yes, that's also what I was thinking. I noticed the Traveler had an eye for photography. I'm sure that's due to the Traveler's journey across to Bath and all the places I've seen. After so many adventures, using a camera must... What do you say, Traveler? Are you interested in the job? Thank you, it really means a lot to me. Come on, friend, let me give you a big warm hug. So, all that's left for us to find is a director and an assistant. Oh, me, me, me! I want to be the director's assistant. All we need to do is help. All right, then all we need is a director. Oh, all the well known directors in Fontaine are probably. Oh, Farina helped out a theater troupe recently by serving as an artistic consultant. She could be a good director, right? Besides, it's not like she has anything else to do right now. Uh, do you really think Lady Farina would be willing to- Isn't that the name of Fontaine's Hydro Archon? My brother has already inf- Yep, that's her! She helped out a theater troupe not too long ago, and now she's- Well, uh... Oh, I saw that musical. Her performance was perfect. Don't let her former identity intimidate you. She's the best candidate we can think of right now. You'll never know until you give her a shot. Fine, you're right, Chiori. I'll do anything for- oh, Then I'll have to ask the Traveler and Paimon to show me the way to- Do you need us to also come- up? No, there's no need to trouble you with this. Besides, you've just arrived. Just leave this task to me. It's very well. Then we'll- I'll go with you. By the way, you might want to cons- And don't worry, we won't simply drop you off at Farina's place. All right, then I'll start making preparations. Hmm. A gift for someone who is once seen as the Hydra Oracon. I recall that Lady Farina once fancied a clockwork ring. So perhaps... Huh? Can't we just bring some desserts like the fun... Hmm, but wouldn't that be a little too cheap? Shh, isn't the Fontanelia Festival happening right now? I heard Avel tell us on the Aquabus that Farina introduced the tradition of going door to door and asking for sweets. To do something like that, she must have a real sweet- I agree with Yoimiya. If the gift is too fans- Alright then, let's go buy some fun- But will that really be enough? We'll be asking her to do a lot of- Hmm, you're right. We need to- Huh? You want something even sweeter than- Yes, we'll need a gift that's sweeter- But what could that be? <laughs> Your words of- to you. 
Okay, I'll go knock on the door. Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. So, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. Huh? Oh, I... Uh, uh, Paima means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. Uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> it's one of my favorites! That's great! So, actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. Oh, but didn't you just say that you're a director? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Are the Traveler and Paimon also part of the film crew? Yep, we sure are! Paimon's the clapper loader, and he's the camera operator! Camera operator? That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. I- No, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler and see for yourself! If he can satisfy you with his camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can- Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm... Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Alright, how about this? We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. Very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. Okay, grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario.
It appears that you have more skill than I thought. All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lines. Yeah! Does that mean you agree to... <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? After our performance of the... In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. And if others were to find out, I agree... Hey, but didn't we have a deal? Uh, well, what about the pay? know how much you're willing to pay me to be the direct well uh i can offer you this much what that's all if Nervy Lat were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now. Oh, uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Oh, so Farina's read it too. Of course I read it. I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the... I see. It all makes sense now. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me pro He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, it reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for- Uh... So, are you a big fan of- Well, uh... It's alright. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. Ahem! Mr. Xavier, if, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director- uh, Oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need! I wouldn't dare doubt- Good! Then I'm free to- Absolutely! No problem! Hmm... All right... So... you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what some- I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and- Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although, the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and casting- And, uh, by the way, since we'll be filming The Two Musketeers, we'll need to find- Yes, I've thought about this as well. I was hoping that you- Me? Hmm... If this was before- Navia can also use firearms, but unfortunately, hers- Could we ask the special security and surveillance- Oh, you mean the special patrol's musketeers? Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. I can't think of anyone more qualified than them. They would be under Nervilat's jurisdiction. Unfortunately, I, uh... Hmm... So... In the end, we still have to start by talking to Nervalette.
no need to go to all that trouble. I know their Captain Chevras. Oh, you do? Wait, Chiori, how do you- No particular reason. Running a business means dealing with some- In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the special patrol- Uh, so you're saying there's been times when the special patrol need a- It'd be best to keep it that way. She sounds professional enough. She is a cat. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy with their duties. Well, it just so happens that she's also not the kind of person that's just after Mora. As for whether she has time, then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today. No problem. <laughs> Having Farina join feels like- Of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. I'll be sure to ask some people I know to see if they- <laughs> Seems like you're fine. I didn't ask for the clapper loader's comment. Then let's get going. I uh, by the way, I'm curious. If my pay is so low, then what about our two lead actors? Didn't they travel here? Actually, they told us that they see the trip as part of a cultural exchange. What? So is every person into that who doesn't want money gathered here to shoot this film? Don't tell me Chiori isn't being paid. <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before. And he's also agreed to give my- It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. Alright, this is the plan. Mm, but. She's over there. The one with an eye patch reading in front of the newsstand. Oh, her! Paima could tell there was something different about her. Please wait here for a moment. I'll go fetch her. She's working now, so you might. Working? But isn't she just standing. Just trust me. Oh! Chiori sure is a mysterious person. She claims just to be a fact. The Court of Fontaine isn't particularly tolerant of visitors from overseas, so it isn't easy for a foreigner to promote their brand here. Even more so in the competitive world of fashion. Even a local like me just trying to make a film has to face all kinds of ch- Reading on the job? Detective novel. One main character? No. Multiple. Branching storylines. I see. One of the main characters is about to make a choice that will affect the rest of his life. I'd wager he's going to make the wrong- <sighs> Anyway, to speed things up, there's something I need your help with. You know that doesn't depend on me. It all comes down to what the character- Which is exactly why I'm here. <sighs> all right. It appears he may- HALT! Huh? What's- Hand over whatever you're holding. Oh! It's just a book! Uh, then I'm sure you wouldn't mind letting me have a look. Excuse me, officer. I don't mind you standing around here, not purchasing anything. But I'd prefer if you didn't disturb my customers. It's... Don't give me that act. You won't be able to get off so easily. I am Chevrus, Captain of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. I will say that... And before you do anything unwise, let me remind you that I'll have you on the ground before you can even think about making a run for it. Uh, all, all right, all right. But... Please let me say something first. If there's any contraband in that book, why you trying to leave me on the hook, huh? Save it for the interrogation. Take them away, Latelier. What's going on here? One second you're reading a book, and the next you're at and who are? Oh, aren't you the traveler who's been all over the papers recently? Ah, maybe I can let you in on what's happening. Now that Vache has been brought to justice, no new shipments of synth will be made and distributed to sellers. 
The Fontaine guards have been busy collecting the remaining synths still circulating on the market. Thanks to a tip from our reliable source here, this should be the very last ba- Oh, so you were pretending to read a book in order to catch the bad guys! Oh! Paimon almost forgot to introduce ourselves. Hey, I'm Chevrez. You probably already heard me introduce myself, so I won't bother repeating- Yeah, why didn't you make a move as soon as you had the chance? No, I wanted to see if the- All he had to do was come up to me and say that he didn't know where the synth had come from. If he did that, then I wouldn't have had to press charges on him. He had the whole day to turn the synth over to Chevrus. But instead, the moment I came- Yep, he made the wrong choice. Even though the- But you knew they wouldn't make- Yeah, I knew. I was just hoping I'd be wrong for- Eh. <laughs> Enough about that, though. What did you want to ask me? Oh, you see, it's like this. The two musketeers. You certainly have a good eye for a story. So what do you need me to do? Just be the action... Yes, that's right. I want to make sure we get all the details right. I want the actor's posture and understanding of firearms to be as realistic as possible. However, I'm afraid this work will require a bit of your time, since you'll have to be present. No need to say any more. I'll join. Huh? Just... Really? You're willing to help us with our humble film project? Sure, it's no big deal. Besides, I personally really like this novel. I even have the collector's edition at home. Stuart, then we've got... Yes, I'll see you on set. Oh my, I can hardly believe it. I should tell Lady Farina immediately. Oh, and I must tell the prop manager and lighting technician to get everything ready. We start filming tomorrow. Calm down, Xavier. The film is going to take more than just a day to finish. Still, I should also head back now, then start preparing the actors' costumes and makeup. All right, guess that's it. Traveler, Paimon, please stay for a moment. I have something to tell you. Then I'll take Xavier back. Poor thing. He's so excited that he can't even walk straight anymore. <sighs> I don't want to spend our first day fishing our producer out of the fountain. Yep, see you tomorrow. <laughs> so what did you want to tell us, Chevres? Have you read The Two Musketeers? 
The story is about a pair of children born into the household of a baron and their struggle to survive together and take revenge. They were raised at the baron's estate where their mother, one day, upon returning home, they found their mother had been murdered and left dead on the floor. It was, however, the baron was able to exert his influence and keep the whole thing under wraps. The mother's death was eventually deemed as a suicide and there was no chance of bringing her murderers to justice. The two siblings decided to flee and someday avenge their mother. Many years later, members of the Baron's family suddenly started turning up dead one after the other. The Baron believed that the mother's so but it was actually those two siblings who had fled all- They used all of their abilities to collect- That's quite an exil- Yep, the Baron got what he deserved for his evil deeds, and justice was able to prevail. It was- Oh, so is that why you were- You could say it was- Oh, you- I've read the reports about you. Whether it was at the trot, you've shown that you've got a strong sense of justice as well as a great mind for deductions. Yes, you're as sharp as I expected. It seems you've ex There's been a recent murder case involving muskets. The perpetrator's methods appear to be very- Huh, really? The Mara Chose Phantom hasn't yet released any information to the public because the investigation is- A murder involving firearms? But not that many people use those- Impossible. We perform a routine inspection of our firearms and ammo reserves every day. If one of the weapons had been fired, it would stick out like a sore thumb. However... Huh? I hope you all can go back and get some shut-eye. You can decide tomorrow whether or not you'd like to join the investigation with me. I'm aware this might not be the ideal time to add more to your plate, but... The more capable people we- Carrying out investigations isn't actually supposed to be our responsibility. Our job is to apprehend the perpetrators. Finding them is really a- I don't want people to see muskets in a negative way, and also... I'm you mean, they might be connected? I suspect so. Just to make myself clear, this is not an or- If you two have any interest in the- Hmm. What do you think, Traveler? Yeah, you're right. You'd better head back and get some rest. It's good to keep a- Otherwise, when the moment comes- The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. Activity serves no purpose whatsoever.
of making the film last night. If Paima remembers right, we're meeting at Hotel de Boer. Let's get going! Ayaka! Yonia! You're already here! Good morning. Xavier said yesterday afternoon went well. Yeah, and how about you, Ayaka? After we split up... Ayato went to see Udex Nervilet at the Palais Marmonia. I was originally thinking of going with him, but he said he could manage, so I rode the aqua bus with Yoimi. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what we saw there! Two mechanical puppets that were... Yeah, yeah, those two! We sat and watched for quite a while. It was mesmerizing. Oh, it was the same for us the first... Afterwards, we went swimming at the beach! Well... Diving, to be exact. I held Ayaka's hand and we counted down together. Three. At first, I didn't dare to open my mouth. But once I couldn't hold my breath any longer, I decided to take a big breath in. <laughs> Turns out the water wasn't as salty as I imagined. It didn't. Before I knew it, I was breathing like normal down there. It was an amazing feeling. Ayaka said I was too nervous and needed to loosen my grip. Uh, she got used to everything way faster. I knew that the Traveler could do it, so I had no doubt we could do it too. That helped me feel at ease as soon as we dove in. The underwater world in Fontaine truly is beautiful. I love seeing the Romeric- Yeah, and there were so many creatures that we've never- Like those fish that shimmer like a sword blade. Oh, you mean hunters, rays, and blubber beasts. <laughs> I just love the name blubber beast. Yoimiya was down there for quite a while. It was dark before we finally rode the Aquabus back to the city. I figured she'd want to sleep in today. <laughs> yeah, even I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get up. <sighs> but as soon as I woke up today, I remembered that we'd all be shooting a film together. Speaking of the film... My brother and Xavier were speaking to the restaurant owner about using the place as a fil- As for the others, they- We're here! Please excuse my tardiness. I just finished the special patrol's six-mile morning jog. Wait, six miles?! <sighs> I'm so tired. I heard you all chatting, so I decided to come down. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Mm. Can someone fetch? Sure. Uh, no, you can't go anywhere. Please, have a seat over here so I can get started on your makeup. Oh, the last thing I want is coffee stains on my- I can get the coffee. It's the perfect job for an assistant. Ugh, so much energy. Seriously, what's her secret? Oh, Yoimiya's always like that. But you sure look exhausted, Farina. Of course not. I spent the whole night reading the novel from- Wow, Paimon didn't expect you to be so thorough. <laughs> well, I was the biggest star in all of Fontaine, after all. It takes more than just a pretty face to earn a reputation like that. I went all out when I was acting as an Archon. So why wouldn't I do the same for my- Here's your coffee, Director Farina. Oh, thank you. <sighs> the sound of being called Director- oh, It seems everyone has managed to arrive on top. We've reached an agreement with the restaurant owner. We are free to use the second floor to shoot our film. Really? That's great! He is really looking forward to our film, and hopes that providing his- Well then, Mr. Xavier, I'll leave the rest- Okay, thanks! First, I'd like to introduce our new members. 
This is our prop manager, Veronique. She'll be in charge of all... And this is Bono, our lighting technician. He'll be in charge of lighting and... Wow. Sure feels like we have some... First of all, please allow me to first express my sense... When my investor informed me yesterday that he wouldn't be able to provide the funds, I, I had no idea that I'd find so many people willing to help me on such short notice. No need to be so cordial, Mr. Xavier. Where Your works made a profound impression on me when I saw them back in Inazuma. I am sure that someday, this film will be remembered as a prime example of cult... Yes. The story is the reason I agreed to join. I can't... Anyway, I would like to make a promise to everyone that as the producer of this film, this is not just my film. It also embodies the thoughts and feelings of every person here, as well as the endless effort we are about to pour into it. <laughs> so, without further ado, the Two Musketeers will officially begin filming now! You may take it from here, Director Farina. All right. Listen up, everyone. The first scene takes place when the two young musketeers are living at the Baron's home, still unaware of all that is about to happen to them. We'll need props and lighting to set the scene. Our lead actors can go get their makeup done, and extras, please take this time to go over your positions. Whoa, seems Farina's really kicking things into gear as the director. Is everyone clear? I don't want anyone traipsing around the set like umbrella finches. All right. Cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Uh, not the kind of waves that... Uh, seems like she's still a bit traumatized by that. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything we can do... Here. Uh, a little more to the left. You got it. Hey, Yoimiya, do you need a hand? No, no, I'm fine. You know, doing the light, I heard that the Traveler will be offering... Really? Is that because it'll be... Well, sure, there's that. I just think that after all your journeys together, you two must have developed a super close bond and just naturally know how to work with each other. If I'm not mistaken, the director will want the cameras rolling as... Oh, I see. <laughs> it's amazing to see the magic behind... Yumiya, we need lights over there. Oh, on it! I've got to get back to work. Chat with you later. Oh, it's exciting to see so many people... Seems like Yamiya's really getting into it. But she was right. We do have a super close bond, don't we? <laughs> Ayaka has mentioned you to me before. She no talking. I'm thinking about how to do your eyeshadow. Ah, yes. To help me re- To achieve a more... young and not- Are you saying the wrinkles around my eyes are too deep? You just have too much of a... count. <laughs> you sure don't mince your words. It seems you really haven't changed much. Quiet. <sighs> so, this is a real musket? No, it's just a prop weapon. Not bad. Have you seen a real musket before? Only in books and newspapers. 
I made this one based on the relative. When we're filming, some special gunpowder will be applied around the muzzle, which will help create the. Which means it'll be up to the actors to portray the recoil. <laughs> That's right. The sound effects for gunshots will also be added in post production. Thank you, Veronique. I think I know where to start now. However, the musket's gears and firing pin could still use some work. Adding some wear on the metallic component. Also, be sure to rub the muskets with some oil each time before we start shooting. That'll give the impression that the firearms have been well made. Good point. You seem to know a lot, Miss Chevres. I assume you use these- Yes, I perform routine maintenance on my weapons every day. Just like we as people need to eat and sleep, must- I also perform similar care for my sword every day, and familiarize myself with its shape. Yes, this way, our weapons will never betray us in the heat of battle. Yes, well said. Oh, sounds like they found a common Though these props differ from the muskets I use. I Good. I look forward to your- First and foremost, never point the weapon at anyone. Okay, under- When aiming the musket, extend your arms- Like this? Not bad. Now, try saying- <clears throat> This is the end of the road for you. Good. Now turn your body a little. That way, you'll give your enemy less of- This is the end of the road for you. Huh. Excuse me, Miss Chiori. Director Farina, there's something I wish to discuss with you. Oh? What is it? Like this? Yes, much better. What do you think? I do see your point. I believe it would be most fitting. Well, if you insist. All right, I understand. <clears throat> Miss Ayaka, Miss Chevrist, could the two of you please come over? Huh? What's going on? Are we gonna see? Let's go see. What is it? I have a question for you, Miss Chevrist. Would you be willing to play the role of a musk? Uh, what? To clarify, I would like to turn over my role to Miss Shuffle. But, brother... Don't worry, Ayaka. I actually... I was becoming troubled trying to set aside some time to speak to the staff at the Palais Mermonia. I would like to have some conversations about the cultural exchange between... Now, I will be able to focus on my work. Besides, you also know... <sighs> From a director's point of view, I also felt like the relationship... But the older brother in the story plays the lead role with his overbearing character. But this co- But if we were to change the siblings to- Also, I've seen you instructing Ayaka. That cold and dignified personality is exactly what we need. Of course, even with all these insights, the decision should still be made. Uh... Shepherds mentioned that she really likes the story, right? Paimon bets that she'll take the role. All right, I'll take the role. Good. It's decided then. We'll also need to make some immediate adjustments to the- oh, I have a feeling that our adaptation will be even better than the original story. You're doing a great favor for me, Miss Chevras. You have my gratitude. Don't mention it. I like this character, so if anything, I should be the one thanking you. Well, since my brother is the one who brought up the idea, I suppose there's no need to worry. Let's go, Miss Chevras. I look forward to working with you. Please, just call me Chevras. Seems like you're really going out of your way to solve the problem I was having with your makeup. Surely you jest, Chiori. I assure you that I was mostly motivated by a desire to spend more time on formal business. Oh, come on. You really think I'd buy that? According to what I've heard from- Perhaps. Ayaka always said she wanted to go out, and but I feel that she needs not only to see other nations, but also to make some different kinds of friends. I think it would be harder for her to make new connections with me constantly by her side. I would like- All right, go on. Spoil her- Ayato! It's too bad you're stepping down from the role. Paimon really wanted to see you act as a musketeer. <laughs> no need to poke fun at me. 
I'd wager that you also felt that I wasn't the best candidate for the role. <laughs> it's a little hard for Paimon to imagine you saying those lines. Yes. I've made an appointment to meet some people. Traveler, get the camera ready. Paimon, get the clapper board. <laughs> Go on now. And pl yep. Thank you. I look forward to seeing the film when it's finished. All right. Now that we're all here, let me help set the scene for everyone. The first scene takes place when our two main characters are still living at the Baron's. Chivris will be playing the role of the old... Silence on the set! Lights! Camera! Let's to leap. Mother's been out for quite a while now. Hmm. Perhaps she went to pick some flowers on the way home. You know how she loves flowers. Iris, to leap. I'm home. Mother, you were out for so long. We were beginning to worry about you. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm back now, safe and sound. Mother, what are those bruises on your hand? Huh? What bruises? Oh, I must have bumped into something while I was working yesterday. But I didn't notice them this morning. Then perhaps they're from when I accidentally tripped. By the way, did you have fun playing at home? <sighs> What's the matter, Iris? Well, we've realized that no one really wants to play with us. They even took Iris's doll and spat at us. Oh, and they even called us names. They said we were... Shh. It's all right. Don't worry. Girls, listen to me. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Don't listen to them. No one can define you with such words. You both have wonderful lives ahead of you. Just like your names. Maybe your time to blossom hasn't quite come yet. Don't let the soil you're in now ruin your future beauty. Understand? <sighs> My dear daughters. And cut! Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. Also, if our clapper loader could avoid shouting at the start of the scene next time... Oh, uh, got it! <sighs> Great. I was a little worried that my nerves would get- I felt fine. The lines weren't too difficult at all. Seems like Farina must have adapted the role night. <laughs> you two were great. I couldn't tell it was your first time acting in a film. You should have more confidence. Thank you for your encouragement. Positions, everyone! We'll move on to the next scene after- This scene is when our two characters return home, only to discover their mother has been murdered. Ready? Lights! Camera! Action! Mother, we're back! Mother? <gasps> What's wrong, Tulip? Iris, stay away! Huh? Why? What's... <gasps> Mother! Mother... <laughs> She's... Huh? There's poison in this cup. Huh? I could have sworn I've seen this kind of... <sighs> Those aristocrats. They didn't even try to cover up their actions. <gasps> Iris, we need to leave this place. Leave? But now that Mother is gone anywhere, all I know is that we can't stay in this house. But... We'll have our revenge, I promise you. Just not right now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. No, wait. We can't just 
leave mother here like this. At least... <laughs> at least let me leave this rose with her. That's why we went out in the first place. To buy... All right. Goodbye, mother. We'll avenge you. And cut! Beautiful! Great performance! Oh my, you're so amazing, Ayaka! And were those real- I was surprised too. Thank you for the kind compliments. Actually, as soon as Director Farina said action, it's quite similar to practicing the art of the sword. You- Ayaka's performance was amazing. Have I discovered an acting- Pipe down, everyone! We need to move on to the next scene! Traveler, is your arm sore from holding the camera all day? Good work, you two. You too, Chevres. You were quite the actress today. I've read this novel many times before. I have a good grasp of anyway. Do you remember my re Oh, right! We were having so much- You have a case where the murders seem really similar- In the story, the main characters grow up to become two musketeers, always using their guns to- And on each of the victims? They place a rainbow rose as a signal that they've returned. Yes, that's correct. We found rainbow rose. Oh, that does, especially after seeing the script today. Uh, what do you think, Traveler? You're smart. Paima wants to hear your thoughts. Good. On behalf of Fontaine's Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, thank you. There's no time to lose. We should start investigating right away. Huh? Right now? The most valuable intel always comes after nightfall. They are like small... That's how one of my favorite books always puts... So where are we going right now? Let's start by checking out some workshops that sell mechanics. <laughs> Welcome to Le Show's Clockwork Workshop. How can I help you? Hello. I'd like to know if anyone has purchased some special components lately. Special components? Sorry, could you be more specific? I mean the kind of components that aren't typically used for clockwork toys, but for firearms. Huh? For firearms? No, no, we don't sell those sort of things here. Don't misunderstand. I'm not here to cause any trouble. We are merely investigating a case, and we're hoping that you could cooperate. Well, to be completely honest, I'm not even sure what kind of components that would entail. Has anyone ever purchased components here as an individual, rather than on behalf of an organization? We have a lot of customers who buy toys, but those who buy components are all regular customers who buy in bulk on behalf of their organization. Hmm, is that so... I understand. Thank you for your cooperation. You're welcome. It's the least I can do.
hey, Chevrus. Run out of oil for your musket again? Hello, Estelle. I want to know if anyone has come to your shop recently to order some firearm components. Oh, is this another case? Hmm, let me think. I don't think so. Some people have requested that I make some prop guns. Oh, why's that? Because there's no profit. I only make things here that can do some real heavy lifting. I don't have the energy to make some new molds just- Then has anybody come specifically looking for mechanical components? Well, hmm. I usually sell off my scrap to the Fleuve Centre. I understand. Thanks for your cooperation. Don't mention it. Always happy to have the Musketeers patronage. Seems like we haven't found any leads to go off yet. Yeah, unfortunately. Huh? Are you sure? Uh you think so, huh? Then I guess you don't know. Huh? Know what? That I grew up in Fleuve Sandra. It's been a while, Tetro. Please, just get on with your request. I want to know if you've heard anybody talking about muskets lately. Information isn't free, you know. I've heard that bandits have been extremely active in the countryside recently, and they've been affecting the delivery of goods to Poisson. I can allocate some more... <laughs> You're still as helpful as ever. One of our men got drunk at dinner about a month ago and lost his gun. Three days later, it turned up in the corner here. What's weird about that? He just forgot where he put it, right? This is Fleuf Sandra, my friend. Anything of value left in the tavern won't ever make it to the next day. But that gun turned out to be an exception. It didn't get any new wear and tear on it, and didn't- I suspect it came back because the weapon was already known to the guards. You mean, a criminal was afraid the Maru shows I didn't say anything about a criminal. And Fluf Sandra, knowing who was killed is as easy as knowing what clothes you're wearing today. It's the guy living in the east side, isn't it? I've never liked him. Every time he's here, he just orders a drink and sits there with a nasty look in his eyes. 
So, who was the one who lost the gun in the first place? Eh, don't bother. Even if you ask, he wouldn't admit to owning a gun to some strangers. He's right. I know you grew up here, Shavras. Even though you're on good terms with the Spina, you've still been gone too long. Not many people know you here now, and a lot of people don't like the special patrol. I know. So take my advice and don't show your face too much around here. It's for your own safety. I'll come and go as I please. And I'm afraid I'll be appearing more often due to my work. All right. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'd like to ask some questions. I don't know anything. Don't worry, I'm not here to arrest anybody. You say that now. It's the truth. Here, take this as my guarantee. Wait, did Paimon just see what she thinks she saw? Is the captain of the special patrol bribing a citizen? Seems you're different from the other guards. What do you want to know? Have you heard anything related to muskets in Fleuve Sandra lately? Anything at all? Muskets, huh? All I know is that about two weeks ago we started. Were they gunshots? Possibly. It's hard to tell around here. Someone's house collapsing, a pipe exploding somewhere, it's all the same. But the noises I'm talking- Do you know where the noises were coming from? I don't remember clearly. <sighs> Is it that you don't remember, or that you need to think about it some more? You tell me. Then please, think about it some more. <gasps> She's giving her even more more! The noises came from the end of the southern waterway. I came out and had a look for myself when I wasn't sleeping well, but I didn't dare get too close.
That's all I know. All right, I'll take your word for it. Thanks for the pat de fruit. No need to be surprised. I grew up here, remember? I know how to get people around here to talk. Seems you catch on pretty quick. Now then, let's keep going. Most certain. <laughs> What's all this? Some broken planks and barrels, as well as some liquor bottles?
Yes, but have a close. Hmm? Even though somebody is purposeful, in other words, someone. <gasps> Could it have been? Your guess is as good as mine. Although many people at Fleuve Sandra own guns. Anyway, let's. Seems like that's all we'll be able to uncover for today. Hymon feels like we managed to. Yes. Assuming that everything we found is indeed connected to our suspect, then a month ago, our suspect found a gun and took it home to disassemble. In the following weeks, he used then, a few days ago. Hmm. It all makes sense to Paimon, but we're still no closer to figuring out the killer's identity! The deceased was a resident of Fleuf Sandra. It's said that, yeah, that's all. If we are indeed following the novel, and there's a story behind the murder, he was no saint, but no one's heard. What message is the killer trying to convey? And to... We've thoroughly investigated that possible. He claims to have spent the whole day at the- Okay, so he has- Not only that, he lacks a- He has a family of his own, and both of his parents are still alive. In the story, the mother of the two musketeers- More importantly, I've also had a- ch Then... What should we do- Investigations take time. How about this? Let's spend the next few days filming with the crew. We can continue the investigation once we're done with the film. I'm sure that given time, new leads will present themselves. Wait, but weren't you saying Intel is like- Ah, but the book had more than one reference to the islands, Paimon. Oh? What else did it say then? As long as you spend enough time sailing through the fog, you'll- have... the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. The world remains constant over the century. <laughs> 